For me, my first actual memory of the Grand Canyon in the studio was my mom walking with her through that building and watching her as uh, she saw this place that she grew up in, the stories that we grew up listening to, and she's telling us, well, this was where we would have Thanksgiving dinner, and this is where I would sleep on my summer vacations. But she has these happy memories, and we're walking through hearing these stories, and shes you can tell in her eyes and how sad she was to see the state of the building. So for us, as a kid perspective, it was our mom's memory of the place that really brought that connection and made us realize how bad the disrepair was. They called us up when they first started the restoration and said, hey, we're fixing up the Kolb studio. We'd really like your family to be involved in this. So they were asking us, well, when they were first identifying pieces of furniture and photos that were original, they were asking us to help identify them and get them in the right places, or why was the chair that Emery Kolb sat in faced away from the canyon window? Or they, they even have people who track down the original furniture from my great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather's studio. I mean, they put so much work and effort to keep the historic accuracy, yes, but for my family, they've tracked down the actual buyers who bought this stuff. Their attention to detail and what they've done with the Kolb studio is incredible. Being able to meet the people who are actually doing the restoration process and who take care of the house and their passion for the place. Like, yes, it's our family home. Yes, my mom spent every summer until she was 16 here. But when we come back now, these people have their own stories about having to try and shingle the roof. And OK, when my grandfather would do it, he would tie a rope on the other side and of that's the rim. All he would do was just a rope in and then go over the top of the house. And grandma had to stay inside the house so because she, she couldn't see grandpa out there on that very thin rope hanging off the edge. These people put in their hearts and souls to the place. It's not just our house, it's everybody's who's worked on it. And you can tell that with the repair it's in and the heart that's put into it. And it's really honestly such, such a wonderful place to come and see now, to see it fixed up. It's, I'm just very happy to see what all they've done. It's honestly such an honor to keep getting invited back to be able to still participate in our family heritage. We grew up on these stories. This place is special to us. It's a legacy for everybody who's here.